Let's hear more from a special guest. A warm welcome for the CEO of Google and Alphabet, Sunda Pichai. Thank you, Thomas. Good to be with you all here in Vegas. Last year, I joked in my remarks about how I was auditioning for the Sphere. Well, turns out I got the gig. Last night, I was on stage at the Sphere to share a new collaboration. We are introducing the Wizard of Oz to a new generation using Google AI, transforming one of the greatest films of all time for one of the largest screens in the world it's a huge ongoing effort and not something we could have attempted even 18 months ago. Shows how rapidly technology is evolving and how it can enable us to rethink what's possible. I think that's a fitting theme for Cloud Next. The chance to improve lives and reimagine things is why Google has been investing in AI for more than a decade. We see it as the most important way we can advance our mission to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. With Google Cloud, we see AI as the most important way we can help advance your mission. The opportunity with AI is as big as it gets. That's why we are investing in the full stack of AI innovation, starting with the infrastructure that powers it all. We are making big investments now and for the future. In 2025, we plan to invest around $75 billion in total capex. This investment will be directed towards our servers and data centers, which includes powering our AI compute and cloud business. So this will greatly benefit our customers like all of you. We need our infrastructure to move at Google speed with near zero latency, supporting services like Search, Gmail, and Photos for billions of users worldwide. And we use it for training our most capable model, Gemini. Google's backbone network is unparalleled, as Thomas just mentioned, spanning more than 200 countries and territories, powered by over 2 million miles of fiber. Today, I'm pleased to announce that we are making Google's global private network available to enterprises around the world. We call it Cloud Wide Area Network, or WAN. Cloud WAN leverages Google's Planet Scale Network. It's optimized for application performance and delivers over 40% faster performance while reducing total cost of ownership by up to 40%. Companies like Citadel Securities and Nestle are already using this network for faster, more reliable solutions and it'll be available to all Google Cloud customers later this month. This builds on our legacy of opening up our technical infrastructure for others to use. We do this with our custom AI chips called Tensor Processing Units, or TPUs. Since 2013, we've invested heavily in this specialized hardware, and we continue to make massive improvements in performance and efficiency at scale. Today, I'm proud to announce our seventh generation TPU, Ironwood, is coming later this year. Compared to our first publicly available TPU, Ironwood achieves 3,600 times better performance, an incredible increase. It's the most powerful chip we have ever built and will enable the next frontier of AI models. In the same period, we've also become 29x more energy efficient, and Amin will share more later today. This progress is laying the foundation for breakthroughs across multiple fields. Quantum computing is a great example. Our newest quantum chip, Willow, cracked a key challenge in quantum error correction that has eluded researchers for three decades. It can reduce errors exponentially as we scale up using more qubits. 
The Willow chip really paves the way for a useful large-scale quantum computer down the road. Our infrastructure enables the next layer of the stack, research and model. Over the last decade, our research teams have pushed the boundaries of AI forward. And today, they are accelerating science and discovery. From our AlphaFold breakthrough with protein folding to weather next, our state-of-the-art weather forecasting models. World-class research is what enables us to push the frontier with our Gemini models. In December, we introduced Gemini 2.0 with new advances in multimodality, like native image and audio output, as well as native tool use. This new generation has also pushed the frontiers of another capability called thinking. A couple of weeks ago, we released a new model, Gemini 2.5, a thinking model that can reason through its thoughts before responding. It's our most intelligent AI model ever. And it's the best model in the world, according to the chatbot Arena Leaderboard. <laughs> it's state of the art across a range of benchmarks requiring advanced reasoning. That included the highest score ever on humanity's last exam, one of the hardest industry benchmarks that's designed to capture the human frontier of knowledge and reasoning. There's a lot of impressive words, but let me show you what it can do. Take a look at this Rubik's Cube, coded by developer Matt Berman. You might think of it as a toy, but it's actually a really complex reasoning challenge. Adjustable dimensions, scrambling the squares, keyboard controls, and Gemini 2.5 Pro can simulate it all. It's a significant leap and shows the ability to produce robust interactive code. That's a fun one. Let's look at one other example. With a series of prompts, developer John Martin used 2.5 Pro to create a series of physics simulations, like the Earth's magnetic field and general relativity. You can see how the model turns really complex concepts into stunning and interactive visuals. These are just a few brief examples, but we are excited about the possibilities, and we can't wait to see what you'll build with it. Gemini 2.0 is now available for everyone in AI Studio, Vertex AI, and in the Gemini app. I'm also excited to announce Gemini 2.5 Flash, our low latency and most cost-efficient model with thinking built in. With 2.5 Flash, you can control how much the model reasons and balance performance with your budget. 2.5 Flash is coming soon in AI Studio, Vertex AI, and in the Gemini app. We'll be sharing more details on the model and its performance soon. I'm pretty excited by it and can't wait for you to see it for yourselves. Our goal is to always bring our latest AI advances into the fourth layer of our stack, products and platforms. Today, all 15 of our half a billion user products, including seven with two billion users, are powered by our Gemini models. AI deployed at this scale requires world-class inference, which enterprises can benefit to build your own AI-powered applications. Gemini is also helping us create net new products and experiences. Notebook LM is one example, now used by over 100,000 businesses. It uses long context, multimodality, and our latest thinking models to show information in powerful ways. Gemini is not our only industry-leading model. VO2 is the leading video generation model. Major film studios, entertainment companies, as well as the top advertising agencies in the world are using it to bring their stories to life. Getting advances into the hands of both consumers and enterprises is something we are really focused on. This is why we are able to innovate at the cutting edge and push the boundaries of what's possible for us and for you. The result, better, faster, and more innovation for everyone. It's exciting to see how that's helping companies of all sizes do more with AI and translate those benefits to customers.